Hey there, fellows. So I've got me here a couple of gas cylinders, and I suggest we use them for experiments. Cool stuff. Let me tell you what I got here, fellows. So this here is a cylinder full of helium that makes your voice all high-pitched. Here, you want to have a kid's voice? <laughs> There's still a bit left in there. And also, I've got a green cylinder containing sulfur hexafluoride. As you probably know, helium is significantly lighter than oxygen, while the sulfur hexafluoride is six times heavier. This stuff also affects sound and quite substantially. You get a good bass. Allow me to demonstrate. It's quite a bit heavier, I mean, when you put sulfur hexafluoride into a balloon, you can feel how much weight it gains. I'd better not inhale too much. So there's your sound, you hear me? Soon all cars will rise and bring on the apocalypse. <laughs> It is not easy to get it out of your lungs. This is some heavy stuff. And I do not recommend anybody breathe it in. Anybody want a whiff? Oh, I still can't get it out. So if our vocal cords change their pitch depending on the weight of the gas we breathe, given that we're a car channel, why not try feeding this stuff into an engine? To see whether that'll change the exhaust note. Aside from the engine, we can also try this thing out. It's the same principle. You got membranes in there that vibrate, create a stream of air and make noise. Why don't we toot the horn first and see how that goes? Then we fire up the car and... Uh, we might not be able to get it into the engine. You see, these gases, they don't combust, so the engine might stall. But we'll try anyway. If it does stall, we'll feed the gases straight into the exhaust tract. We are running a resonator and a muffler, and when these gases mix with the exhaust fumes, something is bound to change. So let's get this experiment underway then, eh? Let's rock! We here at Garage 54 are hosting a summer super sale, fellows. Get yourself a set consisting of a t-shirt and a baseball cap at a 20% discount. And on top of that, we'll throw in this cool-looking sticker on the house. This offer is gonna be available for a limited time only, guys, so don't miss out. You'll find all of the links in the description down below. Let's try using compressed air for starters. Blow. Anybody got earplugs? No? Great. Who should I take a shot at? Alright, let's do this. Can someone at least open the gate? <laughs> Being in here is not particularly pleasant. My ears, I mean... I feel them tickling, as if they're being cut into. I am doing it slowly. It's not really working. There we are. And that's what the air horn sounds like when using air. And so why don't we... We've got the hose on there anyway, so let's connect it to the helium. See whether or not that changes how this air horn sounds. Everything is ready? Okay. Now let's move on to the helium. What do you guys think is gonna happen? It'll obviously be loud, but will it be vibrant or dull? If we compare human vocal cords and the membranes you got in here, I'd say they're somewhat similar. Let's try it out. I reckon this should raise the pitch. Who closed the valve so tight? Was it me? What the hell was that? Holy cow! I need to open the tap just a tiny bit. You hear what just happened?
<laughs> I hear a whale screaming. They do chat on a high frequency. And so when using helium, we hear the noise becoming way higher pitched. It sounds thin and not much like a horn even. We're all used to hearing how it sounds on air. I mean, we constantly hear trains honking, big trucks with their air horns. So we know how that sounds. But when using helium, you get a very high-pitched, vibrant and thin sound. And it really cuts into your ears. But okay. So the helium, we know what's up. Now let's feed it some of the heavy stuff. The sulfur hexafluoride. Which is six times heavier than air. Let's see what kind of noise that makes. It has to be low pitched, am I right? Yeah, let's do this. So it expelled the residual helium first, and then it started to come through. Now that is some... what do I call it? It's not even a locomotive, but rather a steamboat. Sounds like one of them huge ocean cruise ships. Amazing! I need one of these in my car. A cylinder, valve, and honking at someone should be frickin' hilarious. That was fun. You hear how the heavy gas affects the... the sound? And it doesn't hurt your ears as much. So now we've got a bass frequency, which doesn't punish your ears that hard. But you can still hear it loud and clear. Why don't we take this outside, just out of curiosity? You can put it down. How much pressure we got in that cylinder? Okay, so it says that it weighs just 38 and a half kilos. But we were lugging it like... Hopefully all of the neighbors are awake. The pigeons are gonna be flying away scared. Mm, sounds pretty good outside as well. Why isn't anybody coming out? You should all be running out right now. There we are. What do you think? Awesome, isn't it? And this one is small. Now imagine if we were using something big. Okay, so before we get in trouble... It's time for us to leave the scene. Okay, so the cylinder is 38 and a half kilos. Then you've got 34 more kilos of gas. And now we get to the engine. So for starters, I suggest we try the helium. I've already got the hose attached. And so that's what we'll be using. Let's try feeding it straight into the motor and see where that goes. So the boys are gonna start the car, one will be applying throttle, and the other feeding gas. Meanwhile, I'm gonna be back there listening to whether the sound is any different. It might so happen that the engine will stall and refuse to run altogether. This gas doesn't combust. And the engine requires something that'll support combustion for it to run. Well, an experiment's an experiment. Okay, you handle the gas, and I'll be over there. Let her rip. So you started feeding it and it stalled. Okay, the engine refuses to run on helium. Right away it stalls. I thought I heard some slight changes when you put in just a bit. So it gets in there and the engine is able to process it. 
Though you can barely hear it, the fact of the matter is that you don't get any sort of truly dramatic changes like with that air horn. Well, at least so far. Let's try the other gas. Same deal, just feed it into the air cleaner. But this time it's a heavy gas. Okay, you can definitely hear it change. It smells pretty awful. If I'm being honest. We need to open the gate. I take it the change is occurring because... <laughs> Let's open the gate. So after running on that gas, the motor... You see, it's set up in such a way that we're running a lean mixture. I mean, there's not enough air coming in and you got black smoke coming out from the exhaust. But as soon as we fed the heavy gas, the exhaust immediately gained a sort of white, bluish hue, as if it were burning oil. As for the smell... You know that smell you get when a firecracker explodes? That sulfuric smell that you literally can't bear to take in. So that's basically what the car has been shooting out. Some smelly-ass gases. Okay, we'll let it clear out and try something a bit different. So here's what we've done, fellas. We've welded a fitting straight onto the exhaust pipe, to which we can attach this hose and feed in some gas. We should be seeing a 107% success rate here. Time to try this out. Listen and look on. Ready? Ready? Let's rock. As per usual, we'll start with a bit of helium. Wait a second. Let me just make my way over here. Give it some gas, Ivan. Shut the valve. The changes are barely noticeable. Is it open? Say what? We're out. Out of gas? So here's what the helium did. The sound... So hopefully you heard that there was a slight change in pitch. Like by maybe a semitone, I don't know. All of a sudden I forget all of the musical jargon. Though it's not like I really knew it to begin with. Anyway, so the sound gains a bit more pitch. It's a bit more vibrant. But nothing too spectacular. I suggest we try injecting some heavy gas. Okay, now we're using... The heavy gas. <laughs> you hear how quiet it became? That's a pretty amazing effect. Oh, look, it's snowing. See that? It's snowing. There's snow coming from the muffler. Interesting. See that? It's snow. Nice. Curious consequence of feeding that gas. Shut it off. What was that? In this case, we're seeing an opposite effect compared to when we injected helium into the exhaust. Then nothing really changed. If only it got a bit higher pitched. But as soon as we used the heavy gas, we got that cool effect with the snow coming out. That cylinder is placed on its side, so I gather the liquid must have been finding its way in. So you would have just heard the exhaust getting really quiet. So on top of being heavier, I take it that gas is most likely denser as well. Well, that's what I'd assume anyway. 
And if that's the case, then the sound wave must not be able to move as fast. The point is that the exhaust becomes way more subdued. Apparently that heavy gas dulls the sound. Plus you've got those white plumes and snow flying out, which is pretty cool. And the engine operates very quietly. That should be a thing. You get to your neighborhood, open the valve, and slowly creep through so that nobody hears you. Okay, fellows, we've just had a bit of fun with this gas. And let's discuss the results. The air horn, yeah, that gets much higher pitched when you're using helium. Meanwhile, the sulfur hexafluoride made it sound really low pitched and loud. As for the engine, when feeding either of these into the air cleaner, the engine stalls. You see, these gases aren't combustible. They are very safe. But they're not gonna burn. And as a result, the engine stalls and refuses to run. And so that does it for this experiment. So if you need to quiet down your exhaust... But I have to say, it is stupid expensive. Okay, so now we've got an understanding as to how gas density and weight affect sound. And the results are pretty sweet. Maybe we can think of some other fun gas to use? There's a bunch of them out there that can also change how the motor operates. And that's all I have for you watchers, subscribe, send in your comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up, alright, catch you later. <laughs>